determining home values in Roatan, Honduras. Sansa, my beautiful 14-year-old dog right there who's sitting in the AC because, well, she has earned it. Uh, we're gonna talk about home values today in Roatan, Honduras. And Roatan, we are a micro economy. We do not have a lot of homes for sale. We do not have a lot of similar homes for sale. Our lots are all over the place, uh, different locations. We've got a lot of micro pockets. And I just told you a lot of things that are really only relevant because we do not have really hard, solid comparables. I will go back to the basic definition of market value, which is the lowest price a seller is willing to sell for and the highest price a, willing, a buyer is willing to sell it for. Why is that relevant in Roatan, Honduras? That is because that's exactly what your house is worth. It's whatever the least amount the seller is willing to sell it for and the highest the buyer is willing to pay for it. And there is a lot of variation here. There's a lot of negotiation that goes on compared to other areas where you can defend price. You do have 10 comparables that look really similar in the last three months. We don't have that here. Now, there are some exceptions to that rule. If you're trying to buy an Infinity Bay, you're trying to buy at the Kempton, you've got nice, beautiful comps. And at the Kempton, they're all basically the exact same thing. They've all been on the market. And so it's it makes things a little bit easier if you're trying to figure out the value. Um, however, a lot of it is, uh, the value is in the eye of the beholder here. And that's it. It's a non-answer answer. So we do have a lot of variability in our home values. And a lot of it has to go to the seller and the buyer. So when you're on either side, you want to deal with people that are rational, uh, willing to negotiate, reasonable, all of those things that, well, in 2020, we kind of lost lost track of that a little bit, but we're trying to get back to being uh, more reasonable back in 2024, just like the market. It, we hit it have a boom down in Roatan, just like most parts of the world from 2020 to 2022. 2023 and 2024 have been where the market is still up. We're not seeing a decline or anything of that nature like we saw in 2008, 2009. We're just coming to a healthier level because that what we were seeing in 2020 to 2022 was just really not healthy and sustainable. Um, who can afford anything anymore? Uh, big corporations. But anyway, I digress. So property values. Um, if you contact me, I'm happy to provide you with a comparables and I can use a lot of tacit knowledge that we all have uh, for people that have been in the industry for a long time and we can give you a value range. I usually give you a range. I'm like, all right, this, let's say, X to X, and I'm, it's probably gonna vary by around 20%. And the reason why I do that is because there's a lot of variables in it, is how long do you want it to sit on the market? Do you, is your most important thing to get this certain price or is to, to move it you know, in three months instead of three years? So there are a lot of variables, which is why I do kind of give the range. Um, it's also gonna depend on your, if it's a lot versus a house. They are different and they are the one, well, they do swing a little bit in Roatan. We don't always get exactly what we ask for on the list price. Uh, we are getting closer than we used to, um, but I would say it does, it varies. Um, we, don't, we don't really have like explosive deals anymore. Maybe that's not a good word to use, uh, but I would say most of the list price, we do sell at 10 to 20% variation of the list price in most situations. Some do go for less, especially if they just hit the market and they are priced appropriately. Uh, there is a little bit more of a swing than I would say should be there and that's a lot just because of what has occurred in the past few years sellers really want a lot of money for their properties and that that's fine but we're having to kind of regress back to the mean it's not a downturn it's just we're coming from a crazy place that was really really high and we're just getting back to a new normal which is still very very high um, but expectations sometimes need to be reset so that's a lot of words without really giving you any information on valuations in Roatan which is kind of the moral of the story with valuations. They're gonna be all over the place. And what you need to look for if you are looking at selling, buying, working with a realtor, working with an appraiser, trying to figure out your taxes. Um, if you're regarding, regarding taxes, um, my biggest piece of advice is always to be kind because kindness goes a very, very long way. If you are rude, I can assure you, your life is gonna be a lot more difficult than if you were nice. I'm not saying if you're being nice, it's gonna be easy, 
but I'm telling you it's going to be a lot better than if you're being rude. So that's the public service announcement, announcement for taxes in Roatan. And yes, we do have to pay our taxes. And yes, they are going up. They're just, uh, don't shoot the messenger here. They're basically just doing what what we've already agreed to do, they just never collected on it. The taxes have been very low, which is wonderful. Um, and depending on how long you've been here, what you purchase into, um, the values have increased, which also unfortunately means the taxes are increasing too. Don't shoot the messenger on that one. It's just my taxes actually uh, went up by 5X, um, but they were also very, very low and they, I knew that they should have been at the other value, but I'm not gonna just offer to pay. Um, but when I'm told to do it, it's like, all right, fine. You got me. Uh, where they appraised my house, uh, the house that you're actually looking at right now. This was a new construction that was built last year. They based the assessment off my building permit and then the land, uh, how much I paid for it. Um, so that was the, the city's appraisal. I, Actually, I think it's pretty darn close uh, right now, but that's a lot. I'd say that's not always normal. So a lot of the times, uh, building does cost more than something is worth if you were to go resell it. Uh, not always, um, but that's most of the time here. Um, now you can do it as a professional build, but we don't really have the fix and flip culture as much here. You have to know exactly what you're doing and Roatan can lead to a very rough landing because there's not a lot of padding um, in case things go wrong. and we live on an island, so it's kind of is what it is. So back to the valuation. So the taxes um, versus now you can get an appraisal. You can get an appraisal done by the municipal, um, which is also, but at the end of the day, the intent of that appraisal is for taxes. It's not for selling and buying. So your number is going to be different. I know all of these numbers should be the same because we're talking about value, but it's really a very, very subjective term, and especially in Roatan. So anything given to you by the government, it's for taxes. That's it. It's for taxes, or their, their end goal is taxes. Um, so if you're going to buy or sell, you can look at that number. You can also look at the build price, the build permit, because that is all valuable information, uh, and that does help you make an educated decision, um, but not always an accurate one on what a house will end up selling for. So I know that's a lot of non-answer answers, but that's just Roatan and that's the truth. If anyone tells you otherwise, I wouldn't trust them. Um, and I'm just telling you, I don't know what I don't know. And the, mar the market does vary greatly. Now, it doesn't mean we're not going to pick a really tight, a really good list price if you want to, or you can pick a really high list price. That seems to be the two options that all my um, sellers have right now. It's really, really high, or we're gonna list this what we can justify and we believe it's going to sell for uh, with a little bit of variation for negotiation in there. So that's why I do put that 10 to 20% little gap. Um, and that's a lot to do with the marketing and being able to negotiate instead of just giving them your um, highest and best at any given moment. This is more of like a, escalation clause, if you will, if you're familiar with the different um, real estate terms. Um, so back to valuations. Um, you can also have a real, you can, well, you can pay someone to do it. Um, you can pay a licensed realtor to do it. You can pay just a random person that offers appraisals to do it. I uh, saw one of those uh, where I'm like, you know, hey, um, maybe. Uh, and, that, and that's the answer. Um, a lot of times, maybe you can get it. Maybe you can't. It's there. You have to use a lot of different variables to be able to say yes or no. So, the moral of this story is it varies greatly in Roatan. I would I would talk to multiple realtors not only um, for an appraisal but also to make sure that you have the right um, mindset. You both um, work well together. We do have a lot of island time things that do occur on this island that I can find drive me crazy um, because I like to get things nice and done and done appropriately. I don't list things without all the proper paperwork in order, which I know does upset some people. So maybe if you don't want to follow the rules and just want to, well, that's all right. Um, I digress. That was a conversation I had earlier today and I'm not saying I'm a super rule follower. I'm just gonna do the job right because it's a lot of money involved and we just can't skip steps. So maybe, maybe I am a rule follower. Um, who would have thought? Um, real estate and tech diving, I follow the rules. Anything else? Eh, 
whatever. Um, so back to valuations, I would get uh, multiple because it is at the end of the day, it's just an opinion. Um, and when I give you, if you ask me for evaluations on things, I'm gonna give you that range. And I'm also gonna tell you, this is what I think we should list for. This is where I think you should, um, you know, these are, this is a good offer range. And these are, this is the range the offers are gonna come in, which if you can see, I'm going low because you're gonna get the low ones um, because hey, doesn't hurt to try. Um, and there's a lot of people that do that, especially if you are listing something off market, you are going to get a ton of clutter at the bottom. You can ignore it, you can deal with it. Anyway, so back to valuations, they do very greatly. It is very difficult to come up with an exact number. Uh, we went through the litany of reasons why, and anyone that tells you that it is an exact number, nothing here in row 10 is exact, nothing here is concrete, everything's a negotiation. Um, so you want to look at a lot of external factors, your marketing, things of that nature, because those are gonna bring you in a lot more value. And then you also need to assess your goals. Um, on timing, price, um, and I, those are all very, very important, a lot more so than if you were just listing in, let's say, like the United States, where there is a very solid market um, with a lot of comparables. It's, it's easy. Um, like, I just pulled comps for a Colorado listing this morning as well, and it's just, all right, we're looking at 401 a square foot, 398, 417, like you ha we have tons of data points. Row of 10, we don't. We might have one or two. And at the end of the day, it's almost cherry picking them also. So just from a statistics standpoint, there's a lot of variability. So I've talked a lot about not answering your question on the appraisals, home values. There's a lot of variation. And if you're buying or selling, I'd make sure you get opinions of several people um, just to make sure and also make sure your goals are aligned with that price because there's going to be positives and negatives depending on what you what you sell it for. I would expect a range of around 20% for whatever you decide listing or buying for uh, just because there is a great deal of variation. Um, we don't really see the 50% variation anymore. We have in the past, um, but there is a lot more demand for Roatan than what we used to have. So even though that 20% swing might seem like a lot and you don't have that kind of swing in uh, places with economies of scale, but um, you do, it, it just, we are getting tighter, but we still have around a 20% swing. Obviously the cheaper your price, the less swing it's gonna have. Anything over half a million, you're gonna have a larger swing. Anything over a million, you're going to, it's gonna take longer, the two to three plus year time frame, um, and you are gonna have a different swing. Um, so whatever you end up doing, my door is always open. I always have opinions, um, and I do think it is a very, very important to get lots of opinions in Roatan, because at the end of the day, it's exactly that, it's an opinion, it's not an exact science, so it's good to get as many educated, semi-educated opinions that you can on this beautiful island.